All right, let's look at this one and let's <clears throat> find the state of stress 50 degrees counterclockwise from orientation shown using uh, a Moore's circle. All right, <clears throat> so write that down. Uh, what are we given? Sigma X is negative 10, sigma Y, 0, tau XY, negative 16. So let's draw our axes, sigma and tau. <clears throat> Maybe let's do... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so, all right, so my starting point is negative 10, negative 16, okay, so, 10 and one more, so it'd be <clears throat> way up here. Starting point right here, negative 10, so it's the left 10, but up <coughs> 16. My center would be the average of those, negative 5. So my center would be right here. <coughs> so the radius would be the distance between those two points. Maybe be helpful to, to remind yourself this is at negative 5, 0. And so what is the distance between those two points. My son is doing this in school. Distance between two points. <clears throat> Hopefully we can do that. I would look at this triangle right here. <clears throat> this would have a base of <clears throat> 5 and 16. So 5 squared, 16 squared. Take the square root that would be 16.76. 16.76 is the radius <clears throat> everywhere. So let me draw my four points. <clears throat> First, let me go 16.76 up, 16.76 down, uh, about there. <clears throat> All right, and then starting at five, go to the right, 16.76. Sorry, starting at negative five. And negative 5 go to the left, 16.76. So I'd end up <clears throat> at 11.76. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 10. These not, aren't really spaced properly. And negative 21.76. Somewhere over here. If I'd, if I'd really drawn these out well... <clears throat> then my circle would look more like a circle and less like weird oval type shape. But <clears throat> anyway, here is my circle. All right, centered at <clears throat> negative 5 with a radius 16.76. Okay, that didn't really even answer anything. These are my principal stresses if it asks for them, but it didn't ask for that. <clears throat> it wants to know the... What's the state of stress 50 degrees counterclockwise? So I need to take this line right here, and I need to <clears throat> rotate it 100 degrees counterclockwise. Remember, 1 degree real life equals 2 degrees on more circle. Well, I don't even know where I'm starting from. <clears throat> so let me find this angle. I'm calling it beta. It's really 2, two theta p. My angle beta, uh, let's see, tangent is opposite over adjacent. <clears throat> beta is 72.6 degrees. So theta p would be what would that, I don't know, 36.3. It didn't ask for theta p. Um, all right, so anyway, I'm starting at 72.6 above horizontal, and I want to know the new stresses at 50 degrees counterclockwise, so I need to go 100 degrees. So where does that leave me? That leaves me <clears throat> right here. Uh... If I was 72.6 above, that leaves me 27.3 degrees under the x-axis. See that, right? 72.6 minus 100 degrees, right? Negative 27.3. I'm 27.3 degrees <clears throat> below horizontal. So I need to find, okay, what are the coordinates of the, my new point. What are the coordinates of my new point? Well, let me draw that. Let me draw, whoops, yeah. Let me draw this 
Hypotenuse is still 16.76. <clears throat> I'm starting at the center, negative 5 comma 0, and I want to know the coordinates right here. <clears throat> and what do I know? Do I know the base and height of this triangle? Not yet. I know the angle, 27.3 degrees, and the hypotenuse, 16.76. So that side, 16.76 sine 27.3, 16.76 cosine 27.3. <clears throat> Let's see, that value, 14.8. This value, 7.7. .7. I may have rounded a little too soon here. All right, so <clears throat> what is this coordinate right here? Right here. If I know that this <clears throat> height, 7.7, .7, base is 14.8, <clears throat> well, my sigma value is the value of my x-axis, my x-coordinate. Uh, well, I, start, I already started negative, negative 5 from the origin, and then I went more 14.8, right? So negative 19.8 KSI is my new <clears throat> sigma x. Sigma y, I would just take this 14.8 14 and go over here, 14.8. So it would be negative 5 plus 14.8, 9.8 KSI. And my tau... <clears throat> is that 7.7 .7 KSI. I didn't have to worry about adding to it because the origin was already on the horizontal um, axis right there. Okay, <clears throat> so, you know, I think this is straightforward. Make sure you start with the right, start at that starting point, find the center, find the radius, sketch your circle, um, while you're sketching your circle, you're, you're finding the principal stresses. <clears throat> Find out where you're starting at so that you know where you need to go to. And then once you know this angle where you need to go to, you know the radius where you need to go to. Find the base and height. The height is going to be tau, but the base, you need to make sure you remember that you're starting off of zero to begin with. So... <clears throat> Take that into account when you're finding your sigma x and your sigma y. But not too bad, right? And pretty cool how we don't have to use those stress transformation equations. We don't have to memorize them. We don't have to go back to our formula sheet to look at them. Uh, they they're are in the circle. They're in what we know about circles. Pretty cool.